The bill that we introduced this morning, of course, does not do everything that I had hoped to do over the years. Uh, basically, I had hoped to re repeal the first bracket of the state income tax. This bill does not do that. On the other hand, it gives the localities 1% of the gross collection of the sales tax, uh, which is far more than I had ever hoped to get to the localities. And I'm hoping that, that some tax relief might be reflected uh, in this additional money that goes back to localities in, in view of the fact that we had to give up a repeal of a part of the state income tax. I think the governor's plan today is better than the original plan that has been submitted to us, but it's still not good enough from the standpoint of the city of Roanoke. This does return to us 1% uh, sales tax collected in the city, which will be at our option. It returns a second percent, which comes to us on the basis of school population uh, alone. Uh, this is not as much as we would be receiving from our own 2% sales tax. I, there's no mention of changing the present school allocation formula which is slanted in favor of the counties. I do not think also that this legislature should commit the future General Assembly to an increase in the sales tax. I think we should deal with this matter at this time and uh, deal with it, with it conclusively. I certainly would not want to come down here two years hence with the idea of increasing uh, the state sales tax. I do not believe that the message has come through loud and clear to the executive mansion yet. The sales tax proposal, which we have received today, does uh, not do enough for the urban areas. Uh, the critical area is the distribution of the second 1%, based when based on school age population, rather than based on the point of collection, you divide in half the amount which the city of Roanoke would receive under this proposal period. There is some area of compromise, of course, but this is too far away from what the city should, should properly have under the sales tax proposal period. Uh, the other question before us is what to do with uh, the right to permit the localities to levy their own sales tax, the so-called local option. We already have that power in the cities, and I think it is, it is unfair of the governor and the administration to approach it as if they have given us something when they permit us this option. Uh, to limit it uh, to 1% is uh, a matter which is debatable. I think myself, the localities should have the uh, power to determine for themselves how far they want to go.